All right, welcome back to the top-down camera tutorial brought to you by IndiePixel. All right, so in the last video, we set up our editor tool, which is fun, made it nice and usable. So in this one, I want to make it so that it, when we go and need a new camera, we can actually set this guy up properly. So, or we can have a menu that allows us to set it up. So let's jump over into Unity. All right, so here we are inside of Unity. So what we want to do, I want to actually make another script here and we're just going to call this the camera. I'm going to say IP camera menus or menu. All right. Something like that. All right. So we're going to pop this open here and again, put it under the proper namespace. So I'm going to say namespace and this is going to be indie pixel dot cameras. like so. And we do need to be using the Unity Editor namespace for this. And what I'm going to do is uh, create some public static. So first I want to make a menu item. So we're going to say menu item, like so. And I'm going to say indie pixel, all right, forward slash, we'll say cameras. And this one's going to be top down, top down camera, okay. And then we want a public static void create top down camera, like so. And because we have this menu item above it, it'll fire off the function below it. So to prove that, we're going to do a debug.log. All right. And we're going to say creating top down camera, like so. And there we go. So we get the menu item up here, cameras, boom creating top-down camera. So the first thing that we want to do when we when we go and fire off that function, right? Um, I want to check to see if I have anything selected, right? Because I, I mean, the, the script itself isn't going to care uh, what that thing is. I just want to know that I have a game object selected so I can attach this script to that object and assign that selected object to the target property of this particular um, component, all right? So we can say, or maybe, what if we did something like this where we say, okay, I want to attach, there's my camera, there's my target. And what it does is it, it uses that information to set up the whole system. So maybe we do it like that. Okay, let's actually try that out. All right, so in order to do that, what we want to do is we want to say game objects, we're going to create an array of game objects, and we're going to, we're going to be, we're going to say selected um, geos. That's what I like to, to say. Or selected geo. How about that? Equals uh, selection dot objects. Uh, game objects. There you go. This returns the array of all the selection. So let's do that. All right. Cool. And then let's actually uh, do a for loop here. So we're going to say for each. Um, hold on. There we go. For each var uh, selected in selected geo we could always just use selection but i want to store all these guys so let's do a debug dot log um, selected dot name i just want to kind of do a quick peek and to see what we what kind of information we get we should get two game objects when we select things all right so let's fire off that function there we go main camera and tank so this is what we want to do. We want to tell the, the user here. Okay. All right. So I don't necessarily need that just yet, but I'm going to just comment it out. So we want to tell the user like, okay, um, you have two objects selected, but imagine a situation where a user might be like, uh, might have selected three objects. Okay. By accident. So we, we want to give them some information, right? About that selection process. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, if you only have one object selected, then I'll just attach the script to it and there won't be any targets set up. But if I have two objects, right, and then maybe after that process, we'll pop up a little display dialog and say, hey, you know, we set up the script, but there was no target attached. Um, but if I have two objects selected, I'll take the last one and say that that's the target, the last in the array, right? So length minus one. And I'll say, hey, 
everything went well, we set up the script and the target. And if there's three objects selected, um, I might just make it so that it just bails completely and say, hey, please only select two objects. You want to create those types of rules, right, for your tools, okay, in your menus. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to say if uh, select geo dot length is uh, less, less than two, all right, um, I'm going to make another function here that just does the attachments process. So we're going to say um, attach top-down script, like so. <clears throat> and I don't need an E there. And I'm going to pass in a game object. So game object, um, camera, and game object, target. Well, I do like to do this too. A target, a camera. So if it's less than two, then we we have an object, right? Now first we need to check to make sure it's greater than zero. If uh, select geo dot length is greater than zero, then we're cool. So we can proceed. All right. Else, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say. Uh, editor utility dot display dialog and we're going to say camera tools for the title and for the description it's going to be um, you need to select an, a game object in the scene to assign to and then just do an okay okay there we go all right, so we, we can actually test that out already. So let's go make sure that that works. So now if I try to do this, you need to select a game object in the scene to assign to. All right. And then if I were to select the main camera, perfect, we didn't get anything. So so for less than two, we're going to attach, attach top-down script, right? Attach, that's weird. Oh, it needs to be static. Sorry, All right, because it's inside of a static function. So there we go. Attach top down script. And we are going to pass in, in this case. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to pass in selected geo. And we're going to do the first one for the target, because we know we have that. Because if we're less than two, we know we have an object in the zero index of this array, but we don't have anything in the one index. So that means that I don't, I didn't select the target. So I just want to attach the script to the camera that I have selected. Okay. Um, perfect. And then I'm just going to pass in null for that one. And then I'm going to say else if I mean, now there's tons of ways you can set this all, all up. I'm just showing you guys a way to do this. You could also even say like, check to make sure that the first object in the list here has a camera component on it already else we're totally going to bail kind of thing how about we do that so i just thought of that so <laughs> uh, zero dot get component and camera if that's true then we could go through it right oh, i forgot one part then we can go through this whole process else if the length is equal to two. Oh, sorry. And yeah, what I was doing, I set it up. So now it's checking to see if there's camera component on the first selection. Else it's um, it's gonna say you need to select a game object in the scene to assign to. So now we need a little bit more information, right? So now we need to say, you need to select a game object in the scene that has a camera component assigned to it. There we go. And if they get too long, you can always just hit plus and it will add it on there automatically, like so. All right, so now that should work. So let's try that out. Let's debug that before we go any further and make sure that um, Oh, sorry. <laughs> that game object. There we go. So I'll we'll fix the game object error there. 
So, oh, it's right here. Oh, well, there we go. My bad. It's getting late. There we go. Okay. So let's say we select something like the tank reticle. That doesn't have a camera script on it. So if I were to go here, hey, we need to find, assign that. So if I were to assign just or select the camera, because it has a camera component on it, it should assign another top-down camera script to this now. And it doesn't just yet. Oh, <laughs> that's because <laughs> I haven't filled out this thing yet. So um, let's actually make that work. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself over here. Um, okay, so now that we, we're gonna check to say, we're gonna say if um, a camera, right? Because it's a game object, it, ha it, it derives from I nullable, meaning that uh, you can check to see if it's true or false as by just saying a camera or game object, right? Basically. So if a camera, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, um, well, I wanna create a variable first, and this is gonna be the type of uh, transform. It's going to be the script itself. So yeah, IP, top-down camera. Yeah. And we're going to say camera script. And we'll just leave it null for now. Right. Okay. So then what we'll do is we'll say camera script equals a camera dot add component IP top-down camera. Boom. Okay. So then... What we'll do is we'll make a little note for ourselves. So we'll sign the top-down script to the camera. Cool. And then what we want to do is we want to check to see if we have a target and we have a script reference. Okay. So if we have, if this succeeded and this is not null, then what we could do is assign the target to that script. Boom. And then that basically completes the auto setup, right? Okay, so now we're gonna say if um, camera script, all right, and um, a target. So we have both those things. We're gonna say camera script dot m target is equal to a target dot transform because the it's of type transform. So this is of type transform. And because this came in as a game object, so basically I could just uh, do transform and we'll just do that and we'll do the conversion up here. So now I can use the same function to say attach top down script. We could send in that selected geo zero dot game object and we can take the second object and we can say that's the target. So I'm going to say selected geo one dot transform. There we go. So then what we want to do is we want to say, actually, we'll just do the check for three. We'll say and we'll do an and here. We'll say selected geo dot length is uh, less than three. Then we're cool else. Actually, no, you know, that's why I like to put it in the inside here because it won't give you enough information, right? Because the the display dialog for this particular condition tells you that you need to have something selected. But if I have three things selected, I have a ton of things selected. So I need to do another else if is less or is greater than three or is equal to three. How about that? Yep. Then let's say Um, something like you can only select two objects or game objects in the scene for this to work and the first selection needs to be a camera. Okay. And again, I'll just concatenate that there. All right. Perfect. So let's check all this out now. No errors. Very cool. So let's go and top down camera. Boom. And that's just because I had just the main camera set up. So now let's remove that and check it. So I'm going to select the camera tank. 
and then we'll select the camera here. Boom, perfect setup. All good to go. So let's get rid of some of our, let's clean this up here. So, oh, I don't have any more debug logs, that's good. Perfect, so you could do a lot of other things here. You can check to see if the top-down script already exists on that particular component. I think the last thing to clean this up, just to make it a little easier, I don't need this for each loop anymore. I think, um, okay, so if we are successful, what I want to do is just select the camera. So I'm going to come down here in this attached top down script. I'm going to say um, selection.active game object. Active game object is equal to a camera. And let's just do this. There we go. Perfect. All right. And that is really what I wanted to, to cover in this particular course. So now we have an, an automated way to set up the camera. So if I just uh, remove all this and go cameras, top down camera, boom. So now we can select the camera, adjust the height like so and the distance, and there we go. And we are functioning. Perfect. All right, so I'll leave you guys with that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you later.